DKMS started in 1991. My mom was sick with leukemia and needed a bone marrow transplant. And my dad basically moved mountains to try to find a donor for her. Then Peter was told that would be not possible from the authority's side. But who knows Peter knows that he never accepts a no as an answer. And then within one year, you know, we recruited 68,000. From humble origins as a private initiative in Germany, DKMS quickly grew to be the largest donor center in the world by 1995. By 2003, DKMS had added one million donors to the global pool. At the beginning, you know, it started with one person, two people, and then we were, our sort of sweet spot was about 20, 30 people. And so it was a small office, we were all cramped, but we had so much fun handing out flyers and doing donor drives at our school, at community centers. However, it quickly became clear that to deliver on our promise to provide all patients with a second chance at life, efforts needed to be made on a global scale. Establishing our first international office in the U.S. in 2004, DKMS continued to expand its presence. We are present in Germany, in the U.S., in Poland, in U.K., in Chile, and in India. I'm proud to say that we were present in South Africa from now on, and we will go for further countries. My dream is in 10 years we are in 20 countries. The importance of international expansion was not simply to provide more donors, but to diversify the donor pool. With patients most likely matching with a donor of a similar ethnic background, diversification is key to providing the largest number of patients with a second chance at life. The world is very diverse, so are people. And we have so many different ethnic groups, and which means that we are in need to get as many people registered from different ethnic groups to help better. As DKMS grew larger, so did our understanding of the extent to which we could impact the lives of patients beyond providing matching donors. We are more than a donor center. To be successful, we need more than this. The Life Science Lab is the leading lab that we have in the world. DKMS also knew that, beyond our own work, it was critical to recognize and elevate the efforts of those working outside of the organization to address the range of patient needs. Knowing the importance of community and cooperation in creating lasting change, DKMS created programs to present awards and grants to individuals in the scientific and medical fields whose groundbreaking work is creating a better future for all patients. We have the mission to give these second chances at life. On the other hand, we also have to care for access to transplant. This is a really big new mandate that we fulfill now. DKMS created capacity building and infrastructure projects, particularly in countries with underdeveloped healthcare systems, to better serve a larger patient community. This includes opening the first ever donor center in Chile and creating a free family typing program in India. Over the course of the past 30 years, DKMS has helped change the lives of tens of thousands of patients and has become a beacon of hope to those in their darkest hour. But we're also not going to stop here because there's still thousands and thousands of patients all over the world. We don't take no for an answer. Someone tells us it's really hard to go to India, maybe you want to shy away from there, or maybe not Chile, or maybe not that country. We always get it done, and that's because there's so much passion in the company for saving lives and also really for innovation. The lives we save is absolutely incredible. I'm so happy to be part of it. I'm grateful to be part of it, but it's all of you and that I'm eternally grateful for. And I think 
that's the big dream, that we only stop when patients no longer need our help.